Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, and the QI Macros are going to celebrate their 20th anniversary in 2017. That's right, we've been around 20 years, helping Excel do things that it just can't do naturally. And inside of the QI Macros, we have over 100 plus templates, 49 charts, statistics, data mining, video training, and it all works the same way, which makes it incredibly easy to learn. I think if you want to know what's really different about the QI macros, it's really easy to learn because everything works the same way. First you point, and then you click, and then you analyze and improve, right? So select some data, click a button, get a chart, get a statistic, get a whatever, and move on. So one of the things that always uh, worried me about the Six Sigma world is with every other piece of software out there, you know, people are going, well, what chart should I use or what statistic or whatever else? And the big difference between the QI macros and anybody else, because we all produce pretty much the same charts and statistics, is that in the QI macros, we ask you to select your data first. And once you've selected your data, well, guess what? The QI macros can help you choose the right chart or the right statistic. So it's very simple and straightforward, all right? Just select some data with the mouse, click on our control chart wizard. It will look at your data and figure out what chart you need, all right? You don't need to know all the rules for what all the charts are, all right? And it'll produce the chart. So let's see how to do that. So here's some data. This is falls per thousand patient days. And if we just select that data with the mouse, click on the control chart wizard, the control chart wizard will go out and look at that data. It's a single column, decimal data. That must be an XMR chart or individuals and moving range chart. And so here you can see it will calculate the limits. It'll show any out of control points in red. So we have all of the control rules in here to figure out what's going on. And then we also add a special menu. So if you click on any chart at any time, you'll notice it adds a new chart menu up here. So let's say we had some problems, we made some process improvement, you see a downward trend of six in a row. We can select that single point, click on show process change, and it'll recalculate our limits and show our process change. And then we could reanalyze stability and show that it, before it was all stable, and we had about six falls per thousand patient days, and now we're down to 4.7. And so this makes it incredibly easy to modify your charts. And once you've created a chart uh, in the QI macros, you can send this to anybody that can, because it's just an Excel chart. But we do all the math and do the graphs. Now, another thing that I think is very powerful in the QI macros, and we just added this in January of 2016, is the data mining wizard. So people have a lot of data that looks like the data on the left there, where it's by line, by date, by location, by whatever, the type of defect they have, but they don't really know how to analyze all of that. And I realized that I can take that data and turn that into a whole improvement project with a control chart, Pareto charts, and everything. And this is an incredibly powerful tool. I used to spend days doing this, and now I spend minutes. In the QI macros, you click on open. We actually have a QI macros test folder that we install under your documents. And in here, we have some pivot table data. So there's a lot of data in here that you can use to figure out um, how to start to go about this and practice. So by date, I'm gonna hold down the control key and select defect. Go to QI macros, click on the data mining wizard. So that will take your data and turn it into a pivot table and then turn it into a control chart. In this case, defects by date. And here you can see we have a pretty stable process, running about eight and a half a day. And then it'll go create Pareto charts for all these things. So here's our types of defects, folded flaps, bent and damaged, cart and will not open, are 67% of our total. And then it'll also go and look at it by line. So it'll look at anything that's in there and turn that into the appropriate chart. So here you can see line three has over half the defects. And so that's probably where we'd like to start to make improvements. Now, once you have the analysis, then you can add in one of our fishbone diagrams. And again, we have lots of diagrams in here to do things. And so I'm just going to plug in some sample data. And once you have sample data in here, you click on create fishbone and it will go create your fishbone diagram for you from the data you've entered on that sheet.
And these things could then be moved into our other uh, chart worksheets so that we can actually put our entire improvement project together into one workbook. So that's how easy it is to do data mining. But we can also do hypothesis testing the same way. So to do hypothesis testing, here we have some hardwood concentration. All you have to do is select the data with your mouse. And you could click on any of our statistic tools, but you can click on the stat wizard. And the stat wizard will go analyze the data, do descriptive statistics, figure out if the data is normal or not, do uh, an ANOVA to find out if the means are the same or different, and a Levine's test, which is not part of Excel, to determine if the variances are the same or different. And it'll come out and tell you, look, data is normal, variances are the same, the means are different. So this is a very fast and easy way to do hypothesis testing in the QI macros. So that's the QI macros for Excel. An easy to use Lean Six Sigma add-in that'll take care of all of your processing needs in the Six Sigma community and lots of diagrams and templates to help you get your projects done quickly and easily. I'm Jay Arthur. Let us know how we can help. And you can take my free Lean Six Sigma training online at lssyb.com.